Hi, my name is Gary Jensen, and uh, my topic tonight is around cultures in schools. I had uh, I have three children: my middle daughter, who is four or twelve, and my youngest, who is nine, um, are my world. Um, well, my son is too, but you know, a little harder on our sons than we are on our daughters. And this last summer, we were looking for a place to have both my daughters go to school um, as the schools they had been attending in the district we're in have uh, really not worked out very well uh, not very conducive of the learning we'd like them to to be in not very uh, supportive um, from our perspective and so we were looking for uh, a school with a culture that was loving caring supporting of their students and that really drove them and had high expectations for what type of uh, information, what type of knowledge uh, the students uh, were to gain. Uh, my middle daughter has some challenges and we were able to find a school that uh, really care for her, that really cared for her, was proactive in uh, setting up her learning. Um, in reference to my youngest, uh, she got into a, a charter school and that's the school that I really want to talk about this evening regarding the culture that has been developed in the school um, that I've uh, observed, as well as uh, that I am very um, proud to say that my daughter goes there. And it's called Falcon Ridge Elementary School. This charter school from the get-go um, last spring when we, we learned that my daughter was going to be attending, um, they really from the first uh, communication we received from them really want uh, to foster an environment that um, no child is left behind um, and it starts with respect and it starts with teachers showing respect to their students um, teachers demanding respect from their students to all other students uh, their proactive bullying policy, um, I say proactive because I've been in a, involved in a lot of schools where it was reactive, their proactive uh, bullying policy, um, I just can't tell you how much of a relief that's been in our lives uh, with the three children that I've had. Uh, the, when I walked into class the first day, students uh, were lined up, they went straight into the classroom, and they were silent. Um, silent from a, the perspective of not, they could still talk to the other, their peers and interact, um, but they knew when the teachers started talking that they were to be respectful and they were to listen so that they could uh, proceed throughout the day with a uh, uh, an environment that wasn't unnerving and an environment that they uh, could really gain uh, a greater insight for each subject that they were working on. Uh, I, I think from a culture standpoint, if you don't create your culture, it will, uh, by design, you will create a culture um, where, in a lot of cases, uh, it won't be conducive to learning. Um, to sum up, I uh, really feel like, uh, in a lot of cases in schools that I haven't thought the culture was as great, that, that teachers really make the difference. And uh, I'm happy to say that at Falcon Ridge, uh, that's the case with all the staff. Uh, thank you for your time.